Oh, hello. Don't mind me. I am just getting caught up on my reading of the Muppet magazine from fall 1985. I found this magazine and some of my other toys from the 80s in a clean out that I'm doing for a family friend. I had stored a lot of my toys up in their attic for a number of years and finally I'm getting able to clean it out. So what other little toys and tchotchkes did I find from the 80s? Stay tuned to find out. Let's get started, shall we? First bag is it's from the $9.99 stock room. If your mall had one of those stores, I'm sure you have some fond memories. Oh, it's two for a bag, $9.99 stock room, and the good old fashion bug. So let's do the fashion bug first. Oh. Cabbage Patch. <laughs> I was a huge Cabbage Patch fan. I had lots of Cabbage Patch toys, dolls. These are the little characters. 1984. Cabbage Patch are still going strong today. There was that whole recall with the Cabbage Patch that ate hair. It wasn't supposed to eat hair, but it ate hair. It initially would eat cookies, and you'd put the cookies in the Cabbage Patch's mouth, and it was this, like, soft kind of material, and kids would somehow get their head close enough, and it would snatch up their hair. So they recalled those, and you can't sell them on eBay at all because of the recall. Here's some little smaller ones. And then there was a whole Cabbage Patch craze when it first started, how mothers would wait in line for hours and yell at each other and go crazy because they needed that Cabbage Patch for their son or daughter. Not so much today. So these are cute. And here's a little bath. 1984. That's what most of these seem to be dated as. Made in Hong Kong. I think I had him in the actual doll form. The little redhead boy. Cabbage Patch. Bag number one. $9.99 stockroom bag. Let's see what's in here. I can see some things. Alright, that's a little noisy. So I have Wizard of Oz. 1987 Turner. This one's different. I think I had the set. All the characters. They are bendable. Return to Oz, even better movie. A Care Bear stapler, still functional. Some wind up little guys, this is like a sad little chick. Still works, right? I remember this mouse with the cheese. Come on, go. Not working. And then we have Alf. Good old Alf. He was a big star during the 80s. He used to eat cats. <sighs> Alf. I thought there'd be more stuff in here, but we are only on the second bag, so let's keep going. Spencer's. Spencer's has really changed ideas about what their store is going in now. You might not even want to go in with children. Let's see what's in here. A whole bunch. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, Peavy's Playhouse. You can leave your comments about Peavy, whatever you feel about him, but I loved that show. These are cards that says, watch me dance, ha ha, and you put your fingers in it, and it's supposed to be his feet. And then on this side, it's Miss Yvonne, may I have the next dance, punch out holes, insert fingers, and boogie. 
I had a lot of Pee Wee Herman stuff. I had the whole house, which I still have, the chair. I never got Billy Baloney, though. He was the puppet. Never got him. <gasps> this was from... It wasn't called... Was it Scantron? This was, like, your first computer in the 80s for kids, a learning computer. And I actually think I still have it. And there were these different cartridges. You'd put the cartridge in, and then you'd have to put this card in, and there was a barcode on the back. And then it would come up on this really tiny little screen that you had to, like, put your head down to look in. All sorts of different games. Not sure. Oh, the little... The little, what were they called? And this is a little most helpful. It says food, foot, and father. Letter F. Warren, no idea what that is. Oh, I have two of these. This guy, he was from making your own slushies, snow cones. Because you would put the syrup inside and then squeeze him. I wonder where my snow cone place is. I remember that. Looks like we have almost all the Jetsons here. We have daughter Judy, his boy Elroy, of course can't forget George, and then good old Jane. And these are, are these McDonald's? Um, 1989. Oh, Wendy's. Available only at Wendy's. Collect all six. I know I have the boss somewhere, and then there's also Astro. So that would be one, two, three, four. Oh, that'd be all six. So I do, I just have to find Astro. And I'd have the whole set. The glow worms. These, I really remember these. 1986 Play School. I think you could get these probably at Burger King or McDonald's as well. And they would, they would glow. So I had all sorts of them and I would line them up and get them all sunned out during the day. And then at night, it's like your own little night light. Glow worms were great. I don't know if they had a cartoon for glow worms or not. I have that guy, those. Piece of pie. What's this magnet of? Dogs. <laughs> Here, I thought it'd be something a little more exciting. I'm assuming that this was probably for my fridge that I had when I was little. South American coffee. Bambi, another McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's promo for kids. They had such good toys back then. This was Green Giant Whole Kernel Corn. This, I believe, was for Go Fish. Little fish. And then I have this guy. Don't know. So, Glow Worms, Jetsons, Pee Wee Herman. Next bag, which is a Super Fresh bag. I don't think Super Fresh is in existence anymore. Let's see what's in here. out this guy when I first found the toys. He is missing an arm. Oh, there it is. Yes. Right? Oh, no. He's still missing his arm. Found his foot, though, which can easily be reattached. So he was the caterpillar from Strawberry Shortcake, and I believe he had a train that would drag behind him, and you'd have all the little Strawberry Shortcake characters. Bobbles as he walks. Milton Bradley cup. A shell. My first set of car keys. <laughs> These are old. Hong Kong kids key set. Those are probably mine when I was a baby. E.T. He was great. I I probably have only seen the E.T. movie once all the way through. 
he loved Reese's Pieces, which I love as well. But, you know, E.T. was a classic. And there is a great ride at Universal Studios for E.T. Um, E.T. Phone Home. I had, an, I had an E.T. phone. I wonder where that is. I'm not sure. E.T. Gremlins. If you watch Gremlins now, you're like, this was not for children. All right, what is this pin? You get the first look. Roger Rabbit. I break for parties. <laughs> 1987. Roger Rabbit. He was great. That was probably also not a kid's movie, really, but... I know I have a Roger, Roger, Roger Rabbit plush somewhere, but you, know, you had Roger, Jessica, his love. You had those weasels, and then the guy that wanted to kill Roger. Great movie. Another McDonald's, I think, promo. This is Walt Disney. This is Jacques, a little mouse from Cinderella. Gus. I like Gus Gus because he was so chubby. Him. Another assortment of random Fisher Price car. You have good old Goofy. Another little wind up. Some peas. Now, these have seen a surge in recent years. I don't think that fits on her. In collectible. These are, um, oh, I forget the name. Anyway, whatever they may be called, because I forget the name, they are, they redid them. So, you know, you could go into your, well, Toys R Us, they're gone, but your other stores and find them. Now, the originals from the 80s are worth a bit more money, especially if you have the whole family. These were bears. So they would have came with, you know, their mother and their father. I had a rabbit, and it was a rabbit that was this brand and his mouth would move as you move. Really, really cute. I'll have to find that. But yes, if you find these now, if you are at a yard sale, flea market, and you find the whole sets of the originals, I'm sure someone in the comments will fill me in on the name because I completely am blanking out. But if you do find sets of the originals in the original clothes, then definitely pick them up. I wanna say Little Critter, but I know that's not it. Little Critter was a book, which, I was very fond of. And oh, a Wendy's Frisbee. Good old Wendy's. And these clip ons. I had so many of these things. If any of you, if anyone else collected clip ons, let me know. I don't know why I collected them, but I did. Property of Chris. I don't know a Chris. Maybe it was a freebie. Another fashion bug bag. I spent many a Saturday or Sunday afternoon hanging out at fashion bug with my grandmother as she shopped. What's in here? More clip-ons. <laughs> oh, Renee. What were you thinking? Oh, we have some interesting ones. We have a good old, is it Sam the Bald Eagle? Well, this is the Bald Eagle mascot for the Olympics. Oh, geez. We have Santa. B. Some of these are characters and others aren't. Oh, look. This, I believe this is a knockoff gremlin. <laughs> <laughs> he has real hands. So this, I think, is supposed to be Gizmo. That was a great movie. World champion. Little boxer guy. Some Cabbage Patch Kids. A frog. Oh, look at... What in the world? Look at this thing. That won't scare you as a kid. I'm not sure what will. Mickey. Do I have Minnie in here? Don't see. Oh, there's a bunch of these little guys. A knockoff pound puppy. Those were great too. A lot of knockoffs back then. I guess still now they have them. Another weird doll. Oh, this one is from the, she's from the get along gang. 
They were great. Yeah, get along, gang. 1984 for ages three and up. I remember having a rope that hung down in my room and that's what these hung on. I don't think I put them on my book bags or on my clothes. They were just, we may have won them at a fair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> phone home, E.T., phone home. He is sad looking. <laughs> Yikes. Poor little E.T. Oh, we have a pineapple head. Anthropomorphic, a pineapple. This is nice. He would be good for Halloween. Made in Korea. So you have a scary skeleton. Another knockoff cabbage patch. And then the real Garfield, 1981. And his counterpart. <laughs> he is sad. So... Real, fake. And what other ones? Unicorns. Back then they were even popular. Another gremlin. Oh, he's missing a leg. He has seen better days. Then we have more of these. How to partner. So these were toys that really, I don't think they served much of a purpose besides just hanging around, but they were fun. What can I do with them today? I'm not sure. You know, do they have any value? I, I don't know. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that probably still have them. If they don't, well then. We also, <clears throat> we also do have the, the chicken nugget people. I don't think I have all their shoes and everything. Oh, there's the there's the boss in here. But again, these were another promo from I think McDonald's, 1987. And so they would come with different feet, different hats, and you could interchange them. She's cute. She has on some rings. This guy was a knight. Not a moose, but we can pretend. So I don't know how many there were in the set, but I do remember getting these. You know, very different than the toys that they have today in McDonald's. I was shocked. I got a box of Fruit Loops the other day and I was pouring some cereal in and a toy came out. I didn't even think they put toys in cereal boxes anymore. Like I was honestly, I was shocked. I was like, what is this? And it was a little toy. It was a, a spoke, some kind of character face that you would put on your bicycle wheel. So I was floored. It has been years since I've seen a toy in a cereal box. Granted, I don't really buy a lot of kids cereal, but I do like Fruit Loops, so I splurged. <laughs> so I have these and then George Jetson's boss. So I'm just missing um, Astro. He's probably somewhere in there. Let's see what else I have. Of course, I had some ephemera as well. I did find some paper, so I thought I would look through that too and see what we have. The back says troll books, so perhaps a poster. Nope, we have some old stickers. <laughs> I think these are from the book fairs. I wish they were scratch and sniff. That would have been fun. So all of you, I'm haunted by you. King of hearts. Your ducky ice cream for you. <laughs> these are great. I don't, these might have a market out there. I know that vintage scratch and sniff markers do actually really well. Just go on eBay and look up vintage scratch and sniff, not markers, stickers, scratch and sniff snicker, stickers, and you'll see. A Sesame Street magazine, October 1987, $1.25. I wonder if they even make this anymore. Has a parent's guide inside, raising kids to be adults, eating out, rainy day relief, recipes, and more. You wanna make Bert and Ernie pumpkins? There you go. Sesame Street, the December issue for Christmas. Mickey Mouse magazine. 
That one's good. First day of school, a big coloring book. Now, did I color? Oh, I did a pretty nice job when I was little. Did I sign? Oh, there's another one. There, yeah, all capital letters. I didn't do a lot of them in here. Oh, good old Punky Brewster. She's your very best friend. Paper dolls. Oh, what was her dog's name? Oh, I forgot she had that creature. And then Henry had to go and die. Sorry. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Um, I forgot she had that. She must have only had him in the cartoon. I don't think she had him in the TV show. She only had her dog. That would be a sweet Halloween costume to be a Punky Brewster. Do have some of her clothes. It does not look like Punky is in there though. What a shame. I love it, daddy. <laughs> Shirt tails. They were cute. Oh my gosh. My handwriting, yikes. Another Mickey magazine, of course. The Muppet Magazine, 1986, Honor Awards. Honoring Robin Williams, Dolly Parton, and Pee Wee Herman. That was before the Pee Wee incident, definitely. And there's a great ad for Crest on the back. Woman's World, <laughs> this is not mine. 1990, that must have been my mom's. I don't think I'd be reading Woman's World. Uh, I don't know. Another catalog. Pages. Oh, this is a good one. Happy Halloween. Things to make and do. This was purchased at the book fair. 1981. So there's all of those cookies. All sorts of things. Musical jelly beans. I don't know if that game would fly today. Like a witch. Paper face. Who's invited to a Halloween party? You are. Pretty fun. More Sesame Street. Cabbage Patch Kid magazine. And here's blast from the past. Kids from the 80s with their dolls. You would send your picture in. The Disney Channel magazine. Oh, Disney Channel has changed. So much. This week, okay. Sunday, November 1st, 1987. So 7 a.m. Eastern Pacific time was Master Size. Great show. Then Dumbo Circus. I love Dumbo Circus. Welcome to Pooh Corner, another great one. Um, special Witches Night Out, The Mouse Factory, The Best of Walt Disney, College Bowl, um, The Bluebird. So yeah, every morning the lineup was pretty much like Donald Duck Presents, Mickey Mouse Club, Mouse or Size, Welcome to Pooh Corner, great. The Missing Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet, Honeymoon Lodge, Goodbye Mr. Chips. So much fun. I'm glad this was saved. That'd be fun to look at more. A goofy Easter card. Strawberry Shortcake Cards, American Greetings. I love Strawberry Shortcake. I was a huge fan. And then, last but not least, we have a Muppet Magazine from 1985 with good old Punky and Kermit and Miss Piggy. And on the back is a pretty sweet ad for Nestle Quick. You can win a complete set of GoBot toys. Man, if you have those now, they're probably worth Decent amount of money. Pinky, oh, there's a He-Man ad. Pinky and Piggy. The legend continues. 32 bold new TV adventures beginning September 23rd. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, that was pretty interesting. I hope that you enjoyed this kind of walk down a little bit of memory lane. I thought there would be more toys in there, but there weren't, so I'm hoping that that means in another barrel or box there are even more toys because I know I have more up there. 
So just have to wait to find out. Well, thank you for watching. Hope that you have a great day. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't so you are always in the know of when I post a new video. So thanks for watching. I will see you all next time.